hello what is up okay so today i'm going to take you through my february 2021 planning and just talk about the process that i go through because i have goals for the year i have projects that i'm working on uh, you know they're everyday to do things i have to do anyway so lots of things people have going on at any one time so let's go through my planning process Okay, so to start off, I do have a video about how I set up my yearly goals. So maybe go ahead and watch that one first if you wanna look at my planning wall. So basically I've already set up my yearly goals for 2021 and my quarter one goals. So now we are doing February 2021 goals. So I have, so it's kind of like the time funnel. So you've got yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and then daily kind of goals is how like the time increments go down. So since we are at, we're planning February 2021, we're at the monthly level. And when I'm at the monthly level, I always reference the quarterly level. So what I always do is I look at what I've assigned for my quarter one goals and I look at, are there any that I wanna get done in February? So I think in this month I decided I wanted to work on the YouTube set. There were some things for YouTube I wanted to purchase. Um, I really wanted to incorporate like mindfulness and like silence activities into my day-to-day -day routine. So I just kinda did a brain dump and I think brain dumps are the best way. So it's just kind of like, do the brain dump. You do. Not, you are not obligated to, to keep anything that you put in there, but it just kind of helps you get the brain flowing. So go ahead and do a brain dump of everything that you think that maybe you'd like to do in February. So I think about things that scare me, things that would help me achieve my vibe, things that would help me achieve my potential, things that would help me achieve my purpose, which I just had a video come up uh, about that if you're interested in that. And so I brainstorm on about those sorts of things. And I think about what sorts of actions could I take in February that would help me achieve these purposes. Oh, this is kind of my board here. I don't, okay, here's the deal. If you're gonna use the system, make sure you get the extra sticky notes because these have just been falling off. So bad, literally so bad. Anyway, so make sure you get the extra sticky ones. And what I've been doing actually is when I do a stack of them, I won't detach them from each other. You know, like, so I'll be, I'll tear them all off the pad at once. So once I kind of brain dumped about what I wanted, I actually, so I set a few goals. Like I wanted to, uh, one thing is to be more active on Instagram. I haven't done that like at all. Um, I want to do a mock-up of a planner this month. I would like to eventually design my own planner. So I want to do a mock-up this month. I want to start um, implementing some of the practices in the artist way. So that is one thing. There are a few more things I want to buy for like this background and things. And I want to have like more of like a community sense. So anyway, so there's a few goals that I have and there's a lot to unpack within each of those goals. So what I did then for things that have multiple steps, like this like eventually I would like to have a completed planner. I broke them up into things and I wrote them in the past or present tense, gave them a due date, and then I made sure that each of these sticky notes would only take like 15 minutes because you wanna have a sense of wins when you get it done. So I took every single project, each one of those goals, wrote down every single action that it would need to take. So some of these stacks have probably 20 sticky notes on them. And then what I do is as I get it done, like if something happened on February 6th, I got it done, I take that top sticky note off and then I have kind of a done spot that I put up there. So then I, that's when I sort them by date. And this is kind of my project management monthly board. Um, so now every time when I do my weekly planning, cause like I said, I always go, I look at the current level and go up a level. So now every Sunday when I do my weekly planning, I also will reference this monthly board since monthly is up a level from weekly planning. Yeah, so I will take all these things and I will put them in my planner for weekly planning. Yeah, and that's basically what I do. This is like such a short video, but I think it's a very good, um, I think it's a really good way to make sure that I'm getting quadrant two things done, basically this project management board. So yeah, this board of sticky notes is kind of all my projects. And then if there's anything else that I wanna do that's kind of like a bucket list item, then I will also put that on the monthly page of my planner. But this is the bulk of the things that I wanna get done. It's things that, it's things that on my own time I wouldn't just think of to do on a daily basis, but because I'm oriented toward my purpose and toward my yearly goals, this is very helpful. So yeah, that was super short and super quick, but I think those are helpful videos, you know what I mean? So um, if you like this video, I do have a yearly planning video. I have a video about setting systems, not goals. I have a video about your life purpose. So if you're interested in any of those sorts of things, um, yeah, go ahead and check it out. I will link those in the description. Thanks so much for watching, bye.